welcome to the mathematics in my channel and thanks for watching in this video we are going to solve this interesting integral integral from 0 to 1 square root of x times natural log of 1 over 1 minus x dx well how to begin okay first uh, here we have natural log of 1 over 1 minus x so uh, i am going to take the Taylor series of natural log of 1 over 1 minus x so we can write natural log of 1 over 1 minus x is equal to according to property of natural log we know this is equal to natural log of 1 minus x to the minus 1 and uh, this is equal to minus times natural log of 1 minus x okay then we know uh, Taylor series of natural log of 1 minus x the well-known uh, property so uh, we know minus so here also minus so plus here n is equal 1 to infinity x to the n over n so we can write uh, i is equal to integral from 0 to 1 here square root of x now instead of natural log of 1 over 1 minus x we can write uh, infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity x to the n over n dx okay then we can switch the integral sign and sigma notation so here n is equal 1 to infinity here 1 over n so 1 over n then integral from 0 to 1 here we have x to the n here we have x to the 1 half so we can write x to the 1 half plus n dx okay then uh, we can integrate uh, here sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n now if we integrate this we know we have x to the 1 half plus n plus 1 so x to the uh, n plus 3 over 2 over n plus 3 over 2 from 0 to 1 now if we apply limit uh, we will have n is equal 1 to infinity uh, 1 over n uh, here only n plus 3 over 2 so n plus 3 over 2 <coughs> okay then uh, we can uh, find the partial fractions so uh, we can write here this is equal to n is equal 1 to infinity uh, <coughs> now I am going to write uh, here n uh, so we can use now we can use uh, the cover method of partial fraction so uh, we should uh, plug in 0 instead of n so here 1 over 3 over 2 so we can write here 2 here 3 then uh, this part n plus 3 over 2 now we should plug in minus 3 over 2 uh, so here minus uh, 1 over uh, 3 over 2 so we can write uh, 2 and here 3 okay then um, now we can take 2 over 3 uh, here outside of the sigma notation so we can write uh, i is equal to uh, sorry here 2 over 3 sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 3 over 2 okay then uh, what's the next step well uh, again I'm going to use uh, another interesting uh, formula uh, here we know digamma of digamma of c plus 1 is equal to minus gamma gamma we know Euler's mass coronary constant plus here sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n minus 1 over n plus c okay then uh, we can write uh, i is equal to 2 over 3 now instead of uh, this part uh, we can plug in uh, digamma of now instead of c we have 3 over 2 so uh, digamma of 3 over 2 plus 1 because here plus 1 uh, 
uh, minus gamma so here plus gamma okay then um, here digamma of 3 over 2 plus 1 now we know uh, this property uh, recurrence formula digamma of x plus 1 is equal to digamma of x plus 1 over x this is the uh, recurrence formula of uh, digamma function so we can write now uh, i is equal to 2 over 3 here yeah, digamma of 3 over 2 plus 1 so we have digamma of 3 over 2 plus now here 1 over x so we know 2 over 3 plus gamma okay then we have uh, digamma of 3 over 2 so we can write uh, digamma of 3 over 2 uh, is equal to you know 1 plus 1 over 2 plus here 2 over 3 plus gamma okay then uh, here again uh, we can use uh, the recurrence formula so we can write here 2 over 3 now digamma of 1 half plus uh, 1 over 1 half so 2 therefore here 2 plus 2 over 3 plus gamma okay then uh, now uh, we can use uh, the special uh, value of digamma of 1 half we know digamma of digamma of 1 half is equal to uh, minus 2 times natural log of 2 minus gamma gamma here also we know uh, the Euler's Mascaroni constant so uh, we can plug in so we know now we have i is equal to 2 over 3 and here the uh, digam of 1 half so minus sorry minus 2 times natural log of 2 minus gamma then here uh, 3 times 2 6 6 plus 2 8 over 3 so here we have plus 8 over 3 plus gamma now we know minus gamma plus gamma get cancelled so we have 2 times 8 we know 16 3 times 3 9 minus here uh, we know minus 4 over 3 natural log of Two. okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching